being Mrs. Frazier. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. As you can see, we have a grocery haul <laughs> and it is much smaller than normal. I know um, we are on a journey or I, I should say I am on a journey of using less processed foods, if you will, um, and just kind of learning to make things myself. I, I, I'm, I'm super excited for this journey, super scared, super nervous. Um, if you have any recommendations, suggestions, recipes, leave them down in the comments and help a girl out. But anyway, um, I do want to share with you what I did pick up um, and what the meal plan situation is. Um, and yeah, so it is summertime. So we're going to be doing as much outdoor cooking as possible to help cut down on like heating the house um, or heating the house up and making the air conditioner work harder than it needs to. We do live in Florida, so it gets extra hot outside. So the air already runs enough on its own without adding, adding in the heat of cooking. And so um, we have both a regular grill and a griddle or a Blackstone. Um, actually a Blackstone that we just re restored. So definitely go check that video out if you haven't seen that already. Um, it just kind of shares on how like if your, your griddle is rusted over from like winter, you know, being stored away, um, how to fix that. So um, if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. But anyway, these meals are going to try to focus as much outside cooking as possible, um, as much homemade cooking as possible. I do, like I said, I do have a few other things that I did pick up that are still um, uh, processed, if you will. It is a slow journey, but we're going to make it. So anyway, let me turn you guys around and show you what I got. Alrighty. So I did do shopping at both BJ's, um, wholesale, which is a membership, um, similar to like Sam's club or Costco. It's kind of on a smaller scale. At least the one local to me is really small. I've not been to another one, so I don't know if they get bigger, but, um, yeah. So BJ's and Walmart. Um, it's kind of all mixed in here together. So let me just go ahead and show you what I picked up. We'll start right here with the dry, with some of the dry goods. I got some pinto beans so I can make my own refried beans. Um, there's also, um, a bean. It's, it's not really a soup. Maybe it's a soup. I don't know. I found a recipe on Pinterest that looks really good with pinto beans um, that you make in the crock pot. So again, um, using the crock pot, you know, that way it doesn't heat up the house so much. Um, but yeah, so some dried pinto beans. I also picked up some black eyed peas. I've never had black eyed peas, but again, I was searching on Pinterest and I found some recipes that look really good. So we're going to give them a try again. Also using the, um, crock pot or the slow cooker, whichever one you want to call it. Um, so hopefully I can use my slow cooker or crock pot a lot this summer um, as well to kind of, um, since we do live in Florida, it does rain a lot. I don't really want to cook outside in the rain all the time. So if there's going to be rain in the forecast around dinner time, I'll just throw it in the crock pot that morning. Um, I also picked up some black beans and then we picked up some more rice. I feel like we always are running out of rice. I go to get some more and it's gone. So I just wanted to have a backup bag. I did pick up some ranch. Now, if you guys have a homemade ranch um, recipe for me, I would totally love that. Um, but leave that down in the comments for me. But for now, we have a bottle of ranch. I also picked up some of the Taco Bell Chipotle sauce. This stuff is really good, you guys. And we will be making um, quesadillas this week or this week or next week. This is a bi-weekly haul. I think I forgot to say that, um, but it's a bi-weekly haul. This should last about two weeks. Um, and then we get most of our produce and stuff, um, fruits, vegetables, and eggs all at our local farmer's market. So anyway, I also picked up these bush, um, bean sidekicks. I thought these would be really good as a side for, um, the quesadillas. I, I think I could probably figure out a way to make these, but I'm not 100% sure yet, but they are so good. If you haven't tried these, definitely give them a try. There's also a pinto bean one, um, but it just wasn't available, but that's okay because we like black beans too. So I also picked up some 
frozen peas and carrots. For whatever reason, my Walmart was out of this for like a good straight month. And so I did just grab uh, four bags of them. These are great additions. Um, to ran you know different meals um but also when you're making uh fried rice <laughs> i like to have peas and carrots in my fried rice and i have um a chicken and rice dinner or a chicken and fried rice or a fried what is it called chicken fried rice there we go um meal planned that i'm going to make out on the blackstone i also picked up some frozen broccoli florets um for, to go with some glazed pork chops. And along with the new journey, I did pick up some bread flour. I recently bought a bread machine. I'm so excited. I haven't, it hasn't arrived yet. So I will make sure um, that I share that with you guys. If you guys are interested, I can make like a little short video on packaging it and sharing it a little bit. Um, and I'll definitely make some recipes and upcoming videos using it. So but I picked up some bread flour. I'm so excited for this journey. Um, if you don't know, bread machines can make like more than just bread. You can uh, make rolls, uh, yogurt, jams, jellies. Like I, my, my mind is literally blown with the things you can make with a bread machine. Um, but anyway, some bread flour. I got that at actually um, BJ's. I picked up some sour cream. Um, to go with like tacos and the quesadillas um, with bread you need yeast so I picked up some yeast from BJ's as well this is instant yeast I think instant or bread yeast or bread machine yeast are the same according to the webs uh, according to Google and I actually think it was Fleischmann's I think that's Fleischmann's um, website that said that so We'll see what happens. <laughs> um, I picked up some bacon so we can have some uh, breakfast. And then I also have some items that are not food <laughs> related. Uh, we picked up some of these toothpicks, I guess, floss picks. These are our favorites. They're not like flat, like normal floss. They kind of fit in um, your mouth like differently. I don't know if you guys can see like how they fit in the teeth like that there. It just is much easier to control than the other type of floss stick. So I picked up some of those, um, a restock of some Q-tips, some bar soap. I just picked up the cocoa butter and shea. I think this smells really good. So I got that um, and then the girls needed some deodorant. So we got that one and then the hubby, requested some Dr. Tishner's. It says mouthwash on here guys, but it's actually like an antiseptic and he uses this um, for any sort of acne problems. Um, his dad actually is the one that suggested this. His dad is, well, was, um, rest in peace, but um, he actually was an older guy and he grew up using Dr. Tishner's to help clean out um, like acne um, issues and stuff like that. And so he recommended this for my husband when my husband was a teenager and he has pretty much used it ever since. Now, I'm not saying this won't burn <laughs> um, and it's very strong smelling, but it seems to work. So I don't know. Have you guys used things like this? Like oddball <laughs> things that are meant for something but used as something else? quite an interesting situation but hey whatever works works um and then i picked up some conditioner for the kids i got uh this tropical coconut and wild cherry blossom for them conditioner is conditioner half of it goes down the drain anyway so we went cheap <laughs> Um, moving on to milk. Milk is a staple in our household. And let's see, did they give us good dates? They did. Good job. Thank you, BJ's. Um, and then we also picked up some butter. I always keep butter on hand. This is pretty much the cheapest way to buy it. I remember used, I used to be able to get it at Kroger for like a dollar a pound when it would go on sale. I am so sad that we are not near Kroger anymore. <laughs> um, but they... Um, but this is the next best way to buy it, is buying it wholesale. I think it runs at this point. I think it's like 
13 or $15 for four pounds, which is absolutely crazy, but cheaper in the long run buying it this way. I also picked up a bunch of boneless, skinless chicken breasts here for different meals. Um, I picked up some maple syrup. I told my husband, like, I was really wanting some pancakes, um, but I want, I wanted, like, real maple syrup instead of sugar. Um, I don't know. I just was really, <laughs> actually, I was wanting, like, Cracker Barrel pancakes, and I'm not sure if they sell Cracker Barrel, cracker barrel syrup, um, and, or, like, I don't know if they sell their syrup. You know what I mean? Like, um, so I just picked up some regular maple syrup, and I'm hoping that, that it tastes good. <laughs> Um, and then I also picked up some soy sauce, just the low sodium soy sauce. We go through a lot of soy sauce here um, with fried rice and stuff like that. Um, and bourbon chicken and uh, pineapple chicken and all of the things. So we use a lot of soy sauce. So I wanted to get a big bottle of that and restock since we were out. Um, but anyway, guys, um, another thing you don't see here is the downfall of our... <laughs> our new lifestyle is pop. Um, I did pick up a case of Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar uh, and then two, two refrigerator packs of Major Melon Mountain Dew. And then I saw that Coke, this is probably not new, but I saw that they had a raspberry, um, raspberry spiced Coke Zero. And so I grabbed some of that. We'll see if it's any good. I don't know. But anyway, let's go ahead and get everything put away. And then I will go through the meal plan and um, how much I spent. what the meal plan is um we usually do four nights total in the two weeks so two nights a week wednesdays and saturdays are usually uh leftover nights however the kids will eat a lot of the leftovers during um lunchtime and stuff now that they are home for the summer so we don't always have leftovers available for the nights but that's okay because i will find um something in the fridge freezer pantry one of those things will have something in there um that i can make um on a night that we planned leftovers but don't end up having them so um the meal plan would be grilled pork chops with a peach pepper jelly glaze i'm super excited for that one um we did already have some pork chops that i cut down from a pork loin that I bought probably a month or two ago. Um, but we already had the pork chops in the freezer, so I am working on thawing those out so we can do that. I also picked up some of the 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 pepper jelly from the Bucky's um 
gas station. <laughs> I didn't know where else to get it at here locally. And so I went ahead and went up there and picked some up. Um, I'm hoping that it's good. I saw another creator on Instagram, Big Farms, I think is their name. They're located in Texas. I saw them on Instagram. They make their own peach pepper jelly. It's actually peach habanero jelly. Um, the one I got is jalapeno. So it's probably less heat behind it, but that's okay. Um, I wish I was local to them because I would totally buy their jelly to make it, but they made it the other day on their Instagram reels and it looked delicious. So I can't wait to make it. Um, we'll probably just do a side of like mashed potatoes and um, I think I'll probably cook the broccoli. So um, cowboy stew is on there. I've made that one with you guys before. I cannot remember what video it is. I'll try to remember to link it for you though. If you're interested, it is so good. Um, brats on the grill. We'll do baked beans. I'm also going to make a homemade potato salad. Um, we're going to do chicken fried rice, like I told you guys, out on the Blackstone. I want to make some tacos, but it's not just going to be tacos, throwing it all together with the mission tortillas and that anymore. I'm going to try my hand at making my own refried beans and tortillas. So I did an, um, order a tortilla press from Amazon, so hopefully that will arrive today or tomorrow. And then, um, yeah, I've, I've made tortillas like once before, but it was pretty probably like I don't know 10 years ago it was a really long time ago um, but I think I can do it again and I've heard that making your own tortillas it tastes so much better so we'll see how it goes um, we also have lemon pepper chicken on there um, I can do that on the grill or the griddle um, or even just throw it in the oven worst case scenario we'll see how that goes but it's literally just chicken breast I cut the chicken breast in half that we get because they are so large um, and then just use a ton of lemon pepper seasoning quite honestly that is all i do and then we just eat it with a side of rice and um green beans so which we already have in the pantry um i also have quesadillas on the list again i'm going to be making uh, my own tortillas for this i will just cut up some chicken breast cook that out on the griddle um, and then put it all together out on the griddle. So we do already have some um, cheese for that. We have mozzarella. I like to stock up on mozzarella um, and buy it from the wholesale stores or the membership stores. And then I will freeze it, um, whether it's mozzarella or cheddar or any of that stuff, any cheese, I freeze it. It, it's so easy and then it thaws really quickly when we need it. So um, another thing on the list is calzones. Um, I may or may not make my own dough for that. <laughs> we'll see how uh, how I feel about it on that day. But we did already have, uh, the last time we had homemade pizza, I bought like the big package of, um, of what is it called, pepperonis. And so we still have some left over from that. We also have some pizza sauce in that that we will be able to use. So, um, and then like I told you guys earlier, I was really craving pancakes. So pancakes are on the list. I do make my pancake mix homemade. Um, I have done that for years. It, well, I did it for years. And then I went back to buying like the Hungry Jack mix. And then recently we went back to making them homemade again and they just taste so much better. And they're like huge, thick, fluffy pancakes amazing um and then last but not least we're going to be doing smash burgers so i don't know if you guys are on tiktok or or watch reels and stuff like that but there's like this this smash burger that has kind of gone viral a lot of people are trying it um where you take the tortilla flat on your griddle smash some hamburger on it and cook it that way and then it's like almost like a taco but it's a burger I don't know we're gonna try it because I keep seeing it it looks delicious um, and so I'll pick up like tomatoes and lettuce at the farmers market this weekend so that's the list um, for the next two weeks we'll see how everything goes um, I also forgot to tell you guys that I picked up I don't know if you guys have seen them but Keurig uh, or the donut shop um, that makes coffee for Keurigs they have a um, I don't know if it's new but they're ice refreshers that you can use your Keurig machine. I'm like pointing over here like it's behind me. It's actually like over there. <laughs> um, but uh, they have pineapple passion fruit and strawberry, strawberry Aussie. I think I'm saying that correctly. Um, but anyway, uh, the two different flavors, I did order those. They are not in stores, or at least not locally to me. So they will ship that to me. Um, they were $6.98 each and there's 10 little of the Keurig pods in each box. So. 
I'm hoping that they're good. Um, I've heard that they're delicious. So, you know, it'd be kind of nice to have something a little different than, you know, pop. So we'll see what happens. Um, but anyway, for the grand total, I spent 120 or $120.27 at BJ's and $112.54 at Walmart for a total of $232.81. Now, that again is for two weeks. We'll probably spend maybe uh, anywhere from $50 to $75, uh, maybe even $100 in the next two weeks at the farmer's market. It just kind of dep depends on how much the produce and stuff like that is. It kind of varies week to week depending on what they have and what's you know available in season and all those things. So, um, also, Let's see, there was something else I wanted to tell you guys and I can't remember, but anyway guys, um, if there's any meals that you guys are interested in, leave them down in the description or down in the comments and I will try to make those with you. So I like sharing our meals with you guys um, and I'm excited to uh, share this homemade journey with you. So we'll see how it goes. Um, anyway guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, forget to hit the red subscribe button. I hope you all stay happy, healthy, and safe, and we'll see you in the next one.